Hi there, gamers. Welcome back to Cryptic Gaming. I hope you've been having a wonderful weekend. So, Roadcraft, man, I got to tell you, it's been a great game so far. Had a couple questions about how to create your own multiplayer or how to join a friend's multiplayer. So, we're going to explain those. There's also another option where you can join a random map. Now, a, that's a random game by somebody who's hosting a game and i'm going to explain all those to you step by step so first things first in order to join the game to play any aspect of the game you have to create a company that's a very simple thing so you can do it from start game you can do it from a join game method it's up to you if you want to host a game you're going to want to do start game and then you're going to choose your campaign selection you could potentially use custom scenarios uh we're going to go campaign and if you're just coming into the game, you're going to have four slots for some uh, save slots here. So when you click a slot, it's going to give you the option. We'll go ahead and open one up here to name a company name. And you can name it whatever you want to. We'll just throw a name out here. We'll name it the Tree Frog. Okay, so we'll accept that name. And let's say you get to choose your vehicle. So you choose your, your uh, scout vehicle. And now you have started this game. And you go, okay, how do I invite my friends? Well, first thing you have to do is choose this first mission. And it's going to load you into this screen. Now, once you get loaded into the game, you may have to play a few of the missions to open it up. Just the little tutorial there. We're going to check it out. We may actually have to play through the tutorial. But I, for one, I have been really enjoying this game, even from a single-player method. Now, playing as a team has its benefits. The reason for that is as you progress in the game, you're going to see that, man, there is a lot of stuff just in one level to deal with. And it can feel overwhelming as a, uh, a single-player on this thing. I'm not even going to joke with you. Okay, so there is where it's going to do a tutorial. Now... We have went to the pause menu. If you were on a console for Xbox, it's going to be the three lines that brings this menu up or start on your uh, PlayStations. I don't have a PC to play this on, so I'm unfamiliar with what your control is going to be. But whatever it is that brings you to this Roadcraft menu, as you can see, it says multiplayer. You're going to click on this multiplayer, and it's going to let you host. So you can set your hosting to a session you can go to permissions and this is going to set the permissions of what people can do which is they can set markers they can manage routes they can plan bridges they can use construction depots and they can use their own vehicles if they choose to i do recommend that you click all those if you're going to be setting it up it's totally up to you how you want to set that up then under session you can have your privacy if you want a friends only then leave it for friends. If you want public, then set it to public, which means anybody can join it into a public session. So we're going to set this to friends. Public, that's it. You start the session. They will join if they want to. For friends, it's a little different. When you select friends, you select the number of friends, anywhere from two to four friends. And then you're going to hit the RT button to start your session. Now, it's not going to immediately start a multiplayer session per se. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a five-digit or a five-character alphanumeric code. So if you can see on this one here, it would be EFD3Y. And each time that you set up a multiplayer mission, it's going to give a different invite code just to keep things created there. And you're going to be able to invite your friends in. So I hope that that one's going to explain a little bit to you on how you create your own session. Now understand, you can do that at any stage. If you are completed 100% all the way through all the missions, you can create a multiplayer game. If you're just starting off like we did here, you can create the multiplayer game. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to the hub and we're going to teach you if your friend has created a multiplayer game, how you will use the code that they give you to join them from this aspect and also if you're just looking to join a random uh you know a random map that's got some random people playing in it you'll be able to do that option as well now this is back at the title screen here uh, i am going to go ahead and go here and i want to remove this fake company that i built 
Well, we can leave it on there for now. Like I said, you're going to have to create a company either way. So if you're joining a friend, you're going to go to Join Game. And you can use whichever, whichever company you want. Now, if you use this company here, you're going to be able to jump in. But understand, if you're joining their game and you have a, a mission set that's already like pretty far ahead of theirs, their save data is going to supersede yours. So be careful of doing that. If they're on the same app, it's going to save their save to yours. So I do recommend creating a new company. So like we've done here, you would then go in, you would create the new company. Now, if you're looking to just join a normal random public game, you can do that with find public game. When you click it, it's going to let you pick map selections. You can, you know, if they, if they're allowing you to do bridges, you know, client vehicles and things like that, all those things that we turned on over there earlier, if you want to be able to play those types of games, that's what you want to use there. Now, if it's a friend has invited you, you're going to go to enter an invite code and you're going to type in that five character alphanumeric code that your friend has sent you. Once that's typed in, it's going to connect you into their server. Now, if we're all, I'm on an Xbox, if all my friends are on Xbox, I could just join a friend straight from there, or PlayStation the same way, and I imagine if you're on Steam, on PC, I'm assuming y'all probably have some kind of a friends list would be my guess, you'd be able to join your friends from there as well. So, it's a little bit different if you're cross-platform, that's where the invite code comes from. I'm on Xbox, but my friends on PlayStation and PC, and they want to come join me, they can do that through that code. So, that's how you're going to do that, guys. But understand, you have to create a business in order to go into it. Now, as to whether or not you want to save that business, that's up to you. I am not going to save this business here, mainly because I don't really see a need to. Uh, I have a I have a map that I play co-op with some folks on, and uh, if they want to join at any point, they can join. I get them codes, but uh, I very rarely join other people's. But I, it's something I can I can do. You know, joining in from the beginning, but you know, it's going to be completely up to you. Now, when it comes to mods. I was asked about mods too. As far as I know, there's none in the game yet. This is the mod browser. I'm not seeing anything in it. So I've, I've never been real big on mods. So I'm not really sure to be honest, guys. Uh, it's outside of my, my area of expertise. But just from what I'm seeing here, looks like there's nothing. I mean, we just hit the refresh button on our right stick nothing loaded in so there's not going to be any mods on there unfortunately right now so but i hope this answered your question y'all have a wonderful day